Good morning. Today is the day I have to go back into Chanel to see if I can exchange my Chanel Mini 22. As you guys saw from my unboxing video, at the end, I did show you there were some quality issues with the bag that I picked up. I did message my essay as soon as I saw it, which was on Monday. So it was just outside the 14 day exchange period. So I was very anxious because I'm not sure whether they will still let me exchange. When I was filming the reel on Monday, that's when I saw the quality issues. Oh my gosh. My heart literally sank <laughs> when I saw there were multiple scratches where the leather has been almost abraded. I was so upset when I saw because I wasn't sure if my essay would be able to find me another bag. It has just been a few days of roller coaster of emotions. I am planning to go in today. Ah, fingers crossed there's nothing wrong with this bag because I would be so upset if I have to return it and not be able to get another one because I have a feeling that the price increase will happen for next collection. So I may have to just keep it if the new one is not up to scratch. Like it has to be better than this one, right? Because you guys saw there were multiple problem areas. If it comes to it, I think I will keep it just because I don't want to be hit with the price increase. Let's see what the new bag is like. Like, but yeah, uh, my confidence in Chanel is wavering a little bit, I gotta say, because this is not the first time I've had quality issues. There's been multiple occasions and a lot more recently, right? I can probably do a dedicated video on all the quality issues I've had throughout the years. I've been buying Chanel for, I think, five years now, and there has been times where I had to return things or send things in for repair. So if you guys want to see that video, can you guys let me know by commenting below? I will be okay to film that for you guys because I think it's quite interesting to see you know how the quality has declined over the years whether we should still be spending our hard-earned money at Chanel <laughs> uh, that being said I still love the brand I love my essay if it's not for my essay I probably would not be buying that much from Chanel anyway I am dress wearing a whole Chanel look today. So we've got my Camellia necklace and all the usual rings that I wear. And then this is the weekend Max Mara coat. <laughs> the pink coat that I got. I ended up keeping this one even though the sleeves are a little bit short. But the color is so perfect. I couldn't send this back. And I am wearing the Chanel sweater that mom got me for Christmas. My Chanel earrings from 23A. I got last collection. I still love these. They actually have and irritated my sensitive ears. I think I'm just becoming less sensitive, which is good because I am able to wear a lot more costume jewelry earrings. <laughs> so let's go Chanel and exchange my bag. I'll take you guys with me. We will go into Chanel Beauty as well. I'm not sure if the blushes are out yet. That's something I want to pick up. No, the eyeshadows are out, so I might swatch them and see if there are any colors that Here catches my, my eye. Finished look. <laughs> Wish me luck. So yes, let's go shopping. This half moon shaped boy zippy wallet looks pretty cool. I also really love this pink shade. Wow, they have the Shilin Chanel 22. What a gorgeous bag. It's so soft. It's so soft. Here's how it looks on. It is quite a big bag, right? It really overwhelms my frame. We'll keep on how pretty is the gold hardware on this little pink wallet on chain with top handle? You guys know my favorite hardware is shiny champagne gold hardware. So this little cutie really caught my eye. This is the Trendy CC phone holder or wallet on chain. It is also super expensive. I was surprised to see the price is 7,000 Australian dollars. This gold brooch is super cute. It's like a little surfboard. Oh, pink cutie hiding under there. I must stop myself from buying any more pink bags. These Chanel number no. 5 earrings are gorgeous. 
Do you guys see anything that you like? The dark beige for Chanel 23B is perfection. It's a really nice beige tone, not too yellow or too dark. Check out the multicolor buttons on this Chanel coat. This tweed set is stunning. Really love the subtle details. My essay recommended I try on these Chanel sling bags. I think all the CCs is just a little bit too logo heavy. The stitched CC on the back is a nice detail. I do like the crossover straps. It makes the shoe really secure. Unlike the traditional sling bags where sometimes the straps can dig in a little bit and are not as comfortable. They are very beautiful, a very comfortable heel height. I just think the logos may be a little bit too busy for my liking <laughs> these boots are interesting wow and these ones as well these slides look pretty nice although this buckle reminds me of the Louis Vuitton <laughs> slides the finish of the CC makes it a little bit more unique what do you guys think they actually look not too bad right this is a much larger size than I need, so that's why my feet looks really wide in them. I got my bag. I will unbox it with you guys once I get home. A quick trip to Laurent for some sweet goodies for my essay. A good deed should not go unrewarded. Once I drop this off, we can have a look at Chanel Beauty. This is the Bison's eyeshadow collection from Chanel Beauty, which is the full winter makeup collection. This first palette didn't swatch very well at all. <laughs> you can barely see the colors. Definitely very underwhelming. The second palette swatched a lot better, but I did build these up. So these are two swatches of each color. The third palette is definitely the darkest. These colors actually show up quite well. Keeps me coming, got me you could this is the new Chanel Chance or the Toilette. I think this is called All Fresh. Sorry about my rubbish pronunciation, <laughs> but this one actually smelled really nice and fresh with a bit of citrus, which I love. I was a day early for the launch of the blushes. The lovely sales associate showed them to me anyway. If you guys saw my YouTube shorts, you would have already seen the unboxing and swatches of these two. I'm back! And you guys can see I ended up coming home with two boxes. <laughs> So it is good news. You can probably tell what's in here. We'll unbox this at the end. My essay is just the sweetest essay ever. She never made me feel like, you know, I was too much trouble or that she wasn't willing to exchange the bag because it was outside the 14 day period. She didn't even mention it. it just made me feel so welcome and at ease. So yeah, I had the best time with her today once again. So we exchanged the bag. I checked this one over and it is all good. Good. Sorry if you can hear the rain. It's been raining a lot here in Melbourne. <laughs> and I actually wanted to go get my hair cut today and it started pouring down. So I was like, no, <laughs> I am not going to be walking in the rain to get my hair cut. Gotta put up with this long hair for one more day. <laughs> so bear with me if I'm touching my hair. It's because it keeps getting in the way. <laughs> Oh, anyway, let's unbox this one and show you. Do you think I ended up with the same bag or did I have to go with something else? We get to do the unboxing again. <laughs> Some ASMR. I did end up getting the exact same bag because I love this color so much. Oh, she's so sweet. She wrapped up the chains again for me. Let's get this on. She is perfect this time because we checked every inch in the store, even in the better lighting. So I am confident that this one is okay. Again. 
Welcome to my collection, my brand new, again, <laughs> Mini 22 in the cobalt blue color. When I was unboxing her in the sun, the color looked so pretty because it's a shiny calf skin. It just reflects light so well, which is also why I did not see the fault on the bag. And this one is also made in Italy. I'm not going to go through too much in detail because I did a full dedicated unboxing for this bag, which I'll link above. You guys can check out that video if you want to see what can fit inside and also mod shots. That cute little bucket bag. I am very happy my essay managed to get another one for me. This one is perfect. So what I realized after the unboxing was the leather strap, they made it a little bit too short compared to the woven strap. So when I was wearing the bag, because the chain is a little bit heavier, it was sort of sagging a little bit. It just looked not great. <laughs> and then because I realized the straps were not the same length, so you can see it there, I have the clip there which shortens the strap by this much and now they are very similar in length not perfect but way better than before it would be actually harder to fix this issue if the leather strap was longer because there's no easy way to shorten the leather strap chain clip saved this bag otherwise i would not be able to wear these two straps together because they're two different lengths so they will not be flush if that makes sense so anyway that is now fixed and the other issue i'll share a picture i didn't do a video because i was <laughs> so shocked and just trying really hard to fix it basically there was a link it was twisted 180 degrees as you can tell from the photo it took me a good 20 minutes to straighten the link out because the leather was so twisted inside i was scared to pull too hard in case i scratch the leather or even worse if it breaks so funny how we were both checking the main bag for um, scratches <laughs> none of us paid any attention to the straps for a few minutes, I was really worried. There was just no way for me to <laughs> twist back the leather. But I didn't want to bother my essay again because, you know, this is already an exchange bag. So I persisted and thank God <laughs> I was able to fix it. I think I need to take a break from Chanel. Sadly, the quality issues have really put me off. I think just stepping away for a little while will hopefully reset <laughs> my bad luck and and it will also give me a chance to catch up with all my Hermes unboxings because I am so behind. <laughs> I will be spraying this leather just to protect it. A lot of you have asked me to do a bag care video just to show you guys what I do. Every time I buy a new bag, I go through the same routine just to make sure that I protect the leather. And if there is anything on the leather, there are products that I use to clean it off. I know a lot of you love my shoe care video. So yeah, maybe I will show you guys the process of me protecting the leather on this one. If you guys want to see that video, do comment below to let me know and I will film that for you. Ah, you guys will never believe today my essay said the price increase is going to be tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm thinking like if I didn't go today and went tomorrow, would they charge me the difference? <laughs> because she said the Mini 22 is increasing in price. So I know even though it's an exchange and it's in the same color, maybe if I went with a different color, they would charge me the new price. But there's no telling with Chanel oh my god i'm like so relieved that i went in today and not tomorrow because initially my essay asked if i want to go in on thursday or friday and i was like let's go with thursday because yeah i want to get this sorted as soon as possible i didn't want it to just hang over my head <laughs> What am I going to do with this bag and thinking about it and agonizing over it? And then, yeah, she said there's going to be a price increase. I did let you guys know over on Instagram. So if you guys saw and went to pick up your bag, congratulations, you avoided another Chanel price increase. It's always really hard because I think even the essays don't know about it until the day before or on the day. It's very nice that my essay actually told me about it so I can let you guys know. See, I knew it was coming, right? <laughs> there were 
a sense of urgency to get the Mini 22. Ah, thank God. <laughs> Otherwise, I would literally be crying, okay? Oh, darkness, my old friend. I would be crying over this bag, how I missed out one day. <laughs> and I had to suck up and pay the higher price. I feel like it's going to go up by at least four, five hundred, right? Let's see tomorrow what the new price is. But yes, I am so happy. Massive thank you to my amazing SA for making this bag exchange process so easy and fuss free. I am so grateful to her. And I feel like sometimes you have essays that are really helpful when you're in store and buying things, but not so much when you have problems and you need after sales care, right? So this just proved to me that she really is the best essay because I've had instances where I've had quality issues with card holders and things like that. Even when they're within the exchange period, the essay would be like, oh, there's nothing wrong with that because they're all handmade. You know, there are some differences or discrepancies between how the flap aligns. They will always make up all these excuses saying yeah. it looks fine. But not my essay, she actually looked at the bag and was like, yeah, that's not good. Like the leather actually looks like it's been scuffed or it's just nice, you know, when they validate you and <laughs> don't feel like you're being super picky because I mean, you're spending $8,000 on a bag. You need to be 100% happy with it, right? Because otherwise, like $8,000 is a lot of money. I am not a millionaire. I can't really just be buying everything that I see. So when I do buy a bag, I do want to make sure that it is perfect or at least if it's not perfect, the floor is on the back so you can't see it <laughs> every day. Now, let me show you guys what else I ended up buying. This was definitely not a <laughs> planned purchase. I actually went to just say hi to my friend who works at Chaston. This is another store. I mean, just to say hi to her and then when she was busy with the customer i started looking at the sunglasses because they do stock chanel at the store and i saw this one i wanted to get this because yeah i love this design so you guys will be able to tell so it is a pair of sunglasses here is the case so it comes in a very large <laughs> fabric case with the small CC on the edge there to reveal <laughs> these sunglasses do you guys remember these ones I think they're from maybe last spring summer it has all these little gold cc's on the arm because i remember i tried this one on in the pop-up they had at chaston i tried on the black and white one i thought it was maybe a little bit too flashy so i actually really like the all black it's a little bit more understated not really because it has all these cc's but like more understated than the black and white one is what i meant <laughs> anyway, let's try this one on. I feel like it has been maybe a year since I saw these. Square frames or like rectangular shapes always just suit my face shape a bit better. Yeah, so this is how they look. What do you guys think? <laughs> just sharing a short clip of me trying on the Chanel Sunnies at the store. Also tried this pair they are even more oversized which pair do you guys prefer this pair is quite expensive maybe it's because of the leather detail on the side they were also not polarized which was the deciding factor for me my friend also showed me these foldable Chanel sunglasses which I thought was super cool the crystals there is such a nice design detail, right? I thought the price is pretty good considering it is foldable and also polarized. Check out the middle part here. It has a CC logo. However, I don't think these ones suit me. They sit a little bit too low for my liking. So that was the reason why I decided to get the other pair. If it's really sunny, then these ones will block out a lot of the sun. So that's really good for Australia. <laughs> the sun is always really intense here. So I feel like we do need the super dark sunglasses. And these ones are great because they are polarized. 
can see on the lens there. If you guys don't know, water and wet surfaces reflect a lot of light. So polarized lenses, they cut away all the reflected light. Yeah, so this is really good for driving or if you're always near the water. I love them. What do you guys These think? ones are 820 Australian dollars. The cleaning cloth is just inside here. It did come with the booklet as well. If you guys are interested in this one, this is the barcode. If you guys want to screenshot that, I think they are still available at the store. <laughs> so you guys can have a look. I hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with me and seeing some of the eye candy at the store. Are you guys going to be buying anything from Chanel 23K? So that is the next launch, which I think should be end of September. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. If you guys want to see the back hair video, make sure to comment below to let me know. I'll catch you again in my next video. Bye!